That'd be perfect. Probably won't work. Let's try it though. Okay guys, so it's time to do another room revamp. <laughs> because these beds, they're like endlessly versatile. And I'm gonna do a whole new configuration today. One I have not done before. So I have three other videos with three other configurations with these Kiraloft beds. This one's just the base. And earlier we had cut off all of this part of it. It's just this part and we cut everything else below it off. So we have one that's fully assembled, one that's just that part right there. So Charlie, as some of you may know, is super into flamingos. Josie loves kitty cats. So I was gonna do like a flamingo kitty cat room. And we have this giant flamingo pinata that grandmother got for Charlie for her birthday, which is a great start. Let me show you some of the stuff I already got. These are the things that I bought specifically for this room makeover. These are sheets I got at Kohl's. They're flannel, they were on clearance. I had 30% off. They practically paid me to take them, but they were perfect. That tealy green color, seafoam green and pink. I got these pillowcases at Walmart. They were $4 and something for a set of two because they each have three pillows on their bed. I got these at Meyer. these blankets. These are throws and pillows that match them. Aren't those cute? And then I got these at Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm gonna do something. So we're gonna use like that greeny teal, seafoam green, somewhere in there, mint and pink color scheme. This is kind of our accent colors, but we're also doing a whole lot of other colors because I'm not like getting rid of everything just to get everything the right color. <laughs> I'm just adding a few new things for pops of color. So like, oh, oh this is kind of a nice cohesive look. At least to us. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I think I'm gonna do this a magical way today. Magical. Let's start with blankets and pillows. All those blankets and pillows, let's get rid of them. All right, that's pretty easy, right? I like doing this the magical way. Okay, let's see, what's next? Mattresses, see those mattresses? Let's get rid of them. All right, man, I feel like we're moving right along here so fast. Mattresses, gone. All right, let's see, what's next? Oh, I know, look over here. Let's get some of this stuff out of here. Let's start with the rack of dresses. Let's get rid of it. Wanna get rid of it? Yeah, uh-oh. Looks like the magic messed up the rug. So much dust in here, I can't wait. It's one of my favorite parts of this whole thing is getting it all clean. Not the actual cleaning itself. I'm not an insane person. But having it all clean, having it done. For like two minutes, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rid of that rug so that magically those will come out easier. All right, there we go. So much better. Now which one of these two shall we get rid of first? Let's do the little one and then the big one. All right, let's get rid of it. Oh boy. This is going so fast, guys. And I'm so less tired than usual. Doing magic is so much easier. <laughs> All right, let's do that one. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Well, I think it's just the magic in the air or something that makes it feel hotter in here. <laughs> but yeah, definitely easier. I think that's empty enough in here now where I can clean and, and redistribute things, have enough room to work. That was elbow room, just in case you didn't know. Oh wait, let me get these, there's a few, let me get these things out of here. Those are the slats, oh, I'm gonna use these again in a minute. Let's get rid of that stuff under there. Hey, let's get rid of it. All right, oh, and we got a bonus Charlie too. <laughs> You got PJ Masks toys? Yeah. Oh boy. I'm going to vacuum first. I'm gonna vacuum all of this. And then 
After we get everything moved around, we'll vacuum again. Then when we put everything back where it's gonna go, we'll probably do it one more time. The magic is thirsty work. <laughs> is it too early for a coffee break? Next thing we're gonna do, all right, got my rag. What I'm gonna do now is go around and clean my baseboards for all the part that's showing. And then when we pull this bed out here, I'll do you need there. Okay, now I'm gonna. You want pants up? Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna pull this bed out and lean it up against this wall for right now. Because I'm not using it this time. <laughs> All right, don't judge me if I have dust somewhere and I don't see it and I'm just like talking to you with a big dust bunny on my face. Gross! <laughs> Let's clean that out. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's gross. Up. I'm gonna bring you guys down here. All right, guys. Let's clean up these baseboards because they're looking kind of grody. I kind of feel like cleaning baseboards might get a bad rap because it's really not hard. It's just a matter of you just gotta sit down to do it on the ground. But other than that, it's like super easy because you don't have to really scrub. You're just dusty. All right, now I have to decide where am I gonna put the bed? Where do I want it? Where the girls like it most. I think I might just put it back where it was. At least for now. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the bed back and well let me do that first and then I'll show you what we're gonna do differently to this bed this time. <laughs> So I got these boards at Lowe's. They are one by two by six foot. So I'm gonna put them in here. Hold on, let me put them in here and then I'll show you. Okay, so I have these slats that I'm going to put down over the boards that I just laid on the floor. And I just put those boards there just to give it a little more support so the slats don't end up just laying on the floor. Does that make sense? because part of the big reason that they don't recommend floor beds is because mold and mildew can grow because there's not enough air circulation in the mattress. Trying to remedy that with these boards under the slats. All right, let's put these slats down, see how it does. So these are the boards that I just got. Hi. I have not attached them to anything. They're just in here loose. Goodness, guys. It's exciting. All right. Look at that. So these boards that are one inch by two inches and they're perfect because this is off the ground there's a little air flow through there I think this is gonna be great all right that's pretty exciting guys I'm so excited because honestly I didn't know if this is gonna turn out or not now I'm also planning on every couple of weeks flipping my mattress 
by my mattress, I mean Charlie's mattress. That way, for sure, she'll get enough airflow through that mattress to prevent any kind of mold or mildew from growing. Because we don't want that. That's not good. All right, let's decide where we're gonna put the rest of the stuff and then we'll put the mattresses back on. I think I'll take this bed base out of here for now. I'll probably put it in the basement for a little while and decide if we want to do something else with it. But in the meantime, I'm going to take it out of here and then bring back in the rest of the furniture. I'm going to move the tall dresser right there so Josie has like a nightstand that she can reach. It also helps kind of enclose that top headboard area underneath. So Charlie's area is kind of, so the pillows don't like migrate out of there. All right, now the decision. Do I put this here, like right next to it, or like right there? I think I like that. Oh, I know what I want to do. I put this like this. I wonder if I put that like that, if their clothing rack will fit in between there. That'd be perfect. Probably won't work. Let's try it though. You guys, that is so exciting to me. <laughs> magic and put the mattress up here. Ready? Let's put it back. It's there it is. And a Charlie. All right, Charlie, you can climb up there now. Oh. I almost forgot. What am I doing? I was going to walk in there and get the mattress. Let's get it magically. That one down there. Ready? There we go. You climbing down now, Charlie? Yeah. That one and that one. Let's put on the sheets. Let's do them both at the same time. There we go. You like those sheets, Charlie? Yeah. Aren't they cute little kitty cats? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm going to surprise her. You're going to surprise Josie? Yeah. Oh, she's going to be so surprised. She'll say, thank you, Charlie. Mm -hmm. You would surprise her. Oh, how about we both surprise her? Mm -hmm. So sweet. So sweet. OK. What should we do next? How about the rest of the pillows? The rest of the pillows, let's put them on now. Look at that, all the pillows. Four pillows on each bed. I don't know. Just in case they need extra pillows, I guess. Blankets. Ah, looking pretty good, right? Dynamite out of sight. What is it, Charlie? Um, rug, let's do the rug. Hey, there we go. Rug is done. Oh, I know. Curtains. Curtains. I have the perfect curtains. I got toys. You got toys? Yeah, a hundred toys. A hundred toys? Yeah. So Charlie likes her new bed. Good thing is that air vent is now not covered, so we'll have better airflow in here. I didn't even realize it when I bought these sheets, how perfect they are. Because they have both this kind of violet undertone pink, like this, and then they also have this like more corally pink, like those. I mean, it just all goes together so well. Do you love it, Charlie? Huh? Yeah. Could you be any sweeter?
<laughs> you kiss me? You kiss me? Ah, okay. oh, sweet kisses. All right, let's change out these curtains. These are pillow fort curtains that I've had for a long, long time. Put, put them away. And now I'm gonna get them out because this is gonna go perfect. All right, there's one, and I love the way that blue minty teal color goes with those pink flowers. It's so pretty together. Yay! All right, let's do the other. Put that one down. I actually like that teal with that red, too. Hmm, decisions. Looking good. So that's one of the butterflies I got at the dollar store. They're felt, they're super lightweight. So I just stuck it up there with a little scotch tape. I got some flowers too. So let's get all that stuff up. I think Josephine is gonna love this. She's gonna be so excited when she gets home. All right, well, I think we're about done. I can't believe it. Let's do a full tour. All right, this is the final walkthrough. Look at that. I got her shelf back up there too. It had fallen down. I don't know if you had noticed that. Look at that, so cute. Charlie approves. Cute window. There's a flamingo. And that's it, guys. Closet's the same. But what do you think, Charlie Bean? What do you think of your new room? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Hey. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. We love you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey.